So today we continue on with the Infinity Ultron build a figure wave from Marvel Legends. This is Disney Plus Wave 3 and we are looking at Hawkeye from the Hawkeye TV show of course. There he is on the side of the package and on the back side we can see the rest of the wave displayed alongside the build a figure Infinity Ultron. And if you're curious on the read up on the back you can go ahead and pause the video now if you wish to read it. So again, another pretty good looking figure. Now what mainly draws your attention is the face printing on the figure and you can see a lot of detail on here. I really, really appreciate it. You can see some scuffs, some a little bit of blood. We got some bandages there, some butterfly stitches. Very cool looking, um, you know, detail going on on the head sculpt. And we got a new body mold as always. As MCU figures always get the new body mold treatment. Uh, here it is. We get the uh, pinless elbow and knees, of course. Butterfly joints in this. So very cool. Now he does come with a few accessories. We do get his quiver full of arrows, but the arrows do not remove. But here it is. It's just black and it does just peg into his back. And then we have his bow right here, which is, uh, you know, it's not a string. It's plastic. And there is not a single arrow that you can pull out and draw. So Unfortunately, you can't really pose them with an actual arrow. And then we get a pair of fists here, a left and a right, to replace his uh, open hands here. We get an open left hand, and then we get the, the right hand with the technically a trigger finger, but that's, of course, to draw his bow. Uh, so there's that. And he also does come with the left arm of the Build-A-Figure Infinity Ultron right here. All right, so here is a look at his face up close and I really really dig it it's very small and subtle of course he's not you know leaking completely but we get a little bit of blood on his cheek and then we get the stitches up top so that's just very cool I like it uh, and as for the likeness it's pretty good I mean I, I wouldn't say it's 100% it's not perfect but I think that looks like Jeremy Renner not too bad and then the hair sculpt is very nice too I dig it then we get some paint and some sculpting going on on the body here. You can see some texture as well. Nothing going on down here. It's just all black. Here's the back side here. And then the quiver goes on the back like this. And now you got his arrows holstered up. All right, so I see exactly what they're going for here. So I made a mistake. The hand is not for pulling of the bow. It's for holding of the bow. Duh. I don't know why I didn't think about that. But it's the grabbing hand to hold the bow. And then his open hand is to make it seem like he just shot the bow uh, or the arrow and he is like letting go, of course. So that's kind of how they're trying to get away without having a arrow here. So you don't have to pull this either way. You wouldn't even be able to pull this the way it is. It needs to be a string. It needs to be a working bow. So it wouldn't work. And we've always gotten Hawkeyes with bows like this and it never works. We never pose them drawing an arrow because it's impossible so what they did here is give you the open hand to make it seem like he just shot it so that kind of works and I like it it looks pretty cool also another alternative is you could use that hand to make it seem like he's grabbing an arrow from his quiver there so maybe that's what they meant by it or both but uh, it you know it works for both so his head sits on a ball jointed hinge it looks down left and right a little bit of a head tilt, but he does have neck articulation, so it tilts the entire head, goes all the way around. That's pretty cool. It's kind of hidden. Arms are going to go all the way around. They do go in and out. We have a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, swivel at the wrist with a hinge. There is a, of course, butterfly joint there. Ab crunch at the torso, waist swivel, legs will kick forward. About that far, not, not a lot. Then it goes in and out. Then we have a thigh swivel, double jointed knees ankle hinge at the foot and an ankle rocker all right so i do have kate bishop but i have not gotten to her yet she has not been reviewed so stay tuned for that review to see the side by side of hawkeye and kate bishop but in the meantime we'll go ahead and compare him next to some of the other figures in the wave first up we'll do moon knight right there you can see moon knight does stand taller and then here we have him next to mr knight and then next to the tallest figure in the wave, probably taller than the actual build of figure itself, we have She-Hulk. And you know I had to bring out the classic. We have the first Avengers movie, Hawkeye, here, which is still my favorite look from the MCU, by the way. 
uh, and this figure still looks great. All right, so that is Hawkeye from the Infinity Ultron build a figure wave. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, be sure to show some love by hitting the like button and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. And as always, take care, take it easy, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.